OK, here's my old DHCP server, Windows Server 2003. Now, to dump out all its settings, all its DHCP settings, to a flat file, you need to execute the following command. It's netsh, space DHCP, space server, space export, then the path to where you would like to dump them. In this case, I want to dump them all in a flat text file called DHCP on the root of the C drive, space all. Execute that. Command completed successfully. Sure. If we have a look on the root of the C drive of this box, there it is there. DHCP.txt. So let's close that down. If I jump across onto my new DHCP server, 2008 box, and when I want to get that flat text file onto my new box, I'm just going to connect to the C drive of the old server, cut that away, and I am going to drop it on the root of the C drive of the new box. There we go. Now before we can bring that live, because obviously we don't want two scopes with the same Addresses on running live, we need to turn DCP off on the old box. So the simplest way to do that is to drop to the services console and locate the DHCP server service. Go into its properties, set its startup type to disabled, and stop the service. Apply. OK. So effectively turning off DHCP on the old box before we bring it live on the new one. Jump on our new box, drop to command line again, and then to import those settings, obviously I've already added the DHCP server role to this server. The command is netsh, space DHCP, space server, import, then the path to the text file that we brought across, space all. That's all those settings, now imported. So if I have a look in the DHCP management console, under administrative tools, We'll see that I've now got a scope, it's been activated, it's IPv4, it's got reservations, etc. And it's all done and migrated. That's you all finished. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peaknetlife.com.